What's up Goonies? Welcome to another PUBG Mobile video and in this video guys, instead of covering my normal Metro format, I'm going to be taking a look at the new Runic Power event. That event is being held in the map Erangel. Everybody loves Erangel, right? So why not have a lot of events there, which PUBG Mobile does. But with that being said, I decided to take a comprehensive look at these uh, powers, abilities, uh, the whole thing. Like, you know, there's wind, there's fire, and there is arctic above me here. And uh, they all have abilities. They got pluses, they got minuses. So I decided to play with them and to get my team to play with them. And let's see how it all works together. And let's see the plus and minuses. And at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you the, the one that I feel like is the strongest ability and the most useful ability um, to be able to utilize in this event. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Alright, so the first ability we're going to look at is the Wind Rune. I know you're saying, Goon, you're using a Fire Rune. Yes, but I encounter a guy utilizing the Wind Rune. Um, and, and I wanted to showcase this for you guys um, because it's going to show you one of the positive things about this particular power, if you will. Um, the Wind Rune. Uh, with this ability, you can create a wind shelter and create a shield of wind that reduces the damage of enemies' bullets. It also gives you a speed boost or wind boost. Um, it increases your movement speed, reloading speed, uh, and damage to ice walls. Now that last ability is not really that important if you will um, and right here you'll see I get surprised by this guy our team wasn't really communicating that well uh, and I was a little angry about this dude so I went ahead and thirsted him but right here um, this guy is utilizing wind and he's actually gonna pie this corner on me uh, I was telling the guy to hush because I could hear him but he pies this corner on me so fast um, and I thought I was safe but he had already um, you know got to the danger zone on me before I realized it and that's one of the positive effects of movement speed he was able to tie me a lot faster than I realized and I went down and we lost that battle so right here this is a friend of mine named Zengitsu he utilized the uh, the wind rune quite a bit that night uh, that we played this is only a couple nights ago and, and with this ability you know you don't necessarily get as much offensive capability with um, damage uh, but you do get the ability to shelter yourself, and you're going to see that uh, how Zen gets you right here does with his uh, windshield. That ability, coupled with you know the other two abilities in your squad, will really create a superpower because this uh, wind shelter comes in really handy at times. And right here, he's kind of at a standoff. Um, there was a squad that rolled by him. He shot at him. They stopped. And they took up, uh, you know, alternate positions. This guy's, I don't know what he's doing. It looks like he's running. But look at those uh, those shots hitting the bubble. I thought that was super cool. Uh, it looked highly inaccurate, though, if the guy was shooting at him. But anyway, it is what it is. He popped the, the uh, shelter up again. And uh, he's going to continue this fight. Now, I will say this. Um, you know, bullets bullets will penetrate this windshield so do not think that they won't matter of fact um the fire rune has the ability pretty much to shred this wind shelter now the ice one it might hold up a little bit and that guy's running ice um so be aware that when you're dealing with a fire guy your wind shelter is not going to protect you that well so and, and and all these different runes affect each other and and just notice that when I showcase each one in the reading, you'll you'll see that. Um, yeah. So right here, and I'm trying to help him. He's he's all busy trying to kill these guys, but eventually they kind of grind to a stalemate. Uh, he can't get the knock on this guy. He he's hit him so many times. That guy's armor is absolutely shredded. He's running out of ammo, uh, and we're we're just kind of discussing options. Yep, he's got to get out of there. Um, this is indeed late zone. As you see, there's only 12 people left. And so he does have to get out of there. Now, he doesn't want to utilize the buggy because the buggy will get you killed. So he decides, I'm going to go swimming. But he misjudges the jump. 
So, that, so that's the end of that. Let's move on to the next ability. This is the Fire Rune, as you see. The Fire Rune creates a will, like one of the abilities, the Magma Will, it uh, creates a flame will that rolls forward. Um, this will, and, and right here, guys, as you see that, I, I included that so you can see the power of the fire. Of course, I potatoed this guy right here, but it says... Uh, the scorching ammo adds a burning effect to the bullets and increases damage dealt to wind walls. Now, that's this, in my opinion, is one of the more offensive uh, abilities or runes, if you will. The fire rune gives a guy who likes to push that ability. And being that the magma wheel rolls forward, you can get behind it and you can kind of push with it. And right here, um, I elect not to do that. I'm running into ice guys. But I am going to throw that up as a distraction, and then I'm going to dip out and flank these guys. I still have my fire ability, as you see, it's, it's counting down right now. You only have a limited amount of time to use this ability, but I'm going to flank around and hopefully catch them sleeping. Now, they do have their ice walls up, but hopefully I can get a shot. Now, right here, I see one of them. There he goes. And I see another one right here. He's trying to escape. Nah, he's out of there. Uh, so this this rune right here, in my my opinion, is probably one of the more powerful runes. I, we are going to examine the ice, but as far as the offensive cap capability, this rune is really cool. And you're going to see it right here. I'm going to utilize that um, scorching ammo once again. And I know we like to call it emulating ammo, right? Uh, because hey, that's what it is in Metro. Right here, I throw this wheel out just to kind of give me um, some cover for a minute. I still got more people around me, um, and I'm just trying to kind of utilize my <laughs> remaining ammo to great effect. But they're inside this building. I'm trying to find him. There he is. I'm gonna try to get behind him. The whole thing about um, you know maneuver, guys. Always. Oh, and I just steal this skill, guys. I just steal this skill. So bad. <laughs> I didn't steal the kill, but I was trying to. But I got one more guy left here. You hear him. He's coming. Picked up some runes right there. I am damaged. But he's going to come out after me, right? He's like, he's out of ammo. Wrong. You forgot that I had scorching ammo. So that, that ended up working out great in my favor. Uh, but I have no health, right? So I'm going to try to throw this rune out here so that I can loot these boxes right quick. That's the great thing about it. It doesn't stay put, though. That's the bad thing. Now, right here, I'm going to show you a push with the fire rune um, to where I just get behind these runes. It's kind of like so slow. Like the enemy's like, he's coming. He's coming. Oh, my God. I mean, you can just keep see what I'm saying. Like, it takes so long. But these fire, these fire or, or uh, magma wheels will in fact kill the enemy too that's the other thing if you if you're really close to them and you deploy a magma wheel and it hits them it will run over them and kill them so that that part is pretty cool too but right here i just needed to flank around i'm going to catch these guys right here with my little scorching ammo i'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch guns transition and get the last guy right here and bingo great push there's the clip ggs um, and I got another example. Now, I had more examples because I played this particular ability uh, at the beginning of this event more than I did a lot of the other ones. However, it will be surprising which one that I tell you is the best. You may be surprised. Right here, for whatever reason, it didn't make them go on fire, even though I had my, my ability uh, selected. But anyway... So right here we're going to cover the Arctic Rune, and this is one of the things I really like about its abilities is the fact that you can utilize it to uh, to climb walls. Now watch what I'm doing right there. There was a guy up here. I was pushing this building. He jumped off. That's all I wanted to show you. Now right here I'm using the bullets. Oh yeah, and the 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 Arctic Rune gives you the ability to create ice walls. Um, they block bullets, but are easily destroyed by melee attacks. So they they're pretty tough. Um, you shoot freezing ammo, the bullets reduce enemies' healing effects and, the, uh, and deal extra damage to fire wheels or magma wheels. So right here, uh, we're, we're going we're gonna to show you some of, some of the abilities of this in this fight here and how dynamic this ability is, in my opinion. So we got a team, uh, me and I think it's Zing, I'm not sure. 
we got a team here and we're just getting he's putting he's got fire i've got ice i have not utilized my ice there it went i utilized my ice ability i put us a wall up because we needed some protection and now as you see um i went right through that wind wall used all my ammo of course but uh and right there zane gives us a wheel it's not rolling very good so i just go ahead and go low and use the berm now this guy dips on his team so dirty so dirty wow so as you see right there that is showcasing the versatility of the arctic rune i feel like the arctic rune is pretty cool but overall looking at all three of these abilities um, I would give the Arctic Rune the nod uh, over all the other ones. Now, I know a lot of you guys are going to go, Goon, you're crazy, man. It's the Fire Rune. Um, we all can agree that the, the Wind Rune is probably the weakest ability. I, I got to say that. But the Fire Rune and the Ice Rune, it comes down um, to versatility. And I feel like that the ice rune has more versatility more practicality uh although the damage from the scorching ammo of the fire rune is completely beautiful i mean it is a powerful powerful offensive rune however i feel like that you get more the ability to climb in places you couldn't climb with those ice walls the ability to pop up those walls in fights when you need some protection some cover um all those things to me make the the arctic rune the best out of all of them now let me know what you guys think in the comments i want to hear from you guys because hey we all have opinions definitely let me know what your opinion is and uh definitely hit smash like uh, hit that thumbs up button if you're not uh subscribed to the channel feel free to do so and stay tuned for my next video now in my next video uh spoiler alert i'm going to be covering these abilities a little bit more and working together in um some some fights that we had and, and showcasing how these abilities work together so with that being said stay tuned for that video and i am out of here